Uh, you have written, created, directed, and starred in a wide variety of television shows and even feature films. Uh, but then you moved into documentary films, beginning, I think, with winning uh, The Racing Life with Paul Newman. Uh, to me, that seems like a different animal than TV shows and, and feature films, uh, perhaps with a whole new set of challenges. Is there a particular documentary film that you can point to that may have inspired you uh, to move in that direction? I always enjoyed documentaries, sort of like I always enjoyed talk, talk radio. I didn't really care about the subject. I just wanted the execution of it. Um, there's many great documentaries and I'm, I'm, I was a, a fan of many of them. And I, you know, there's your, your hoop dreams and all this stuff like on history channel and all that kind of stuff. And I, I don't think there was one, it was just, I like, I like storytelling and this is the, and, and I like, I, I was not a fan of a kind of a sitcom approach to life. And I wasn't really a fan of a sort of novel approach to life. I, I like my stories to have had happened to be real. And, and I wanted to tell stories either they were about myself or tell a story about Paul Newman in his racing life or, or whatever other docs we've made. It, it didn't, it didn't seem it making up stuff. And that's why, like I said, sitcom stuff like it, it always kind of felt like empty calories to me. Mm -hmm. And, and so I would have never wanted to read a story about a spy novel, but I certainly would watch a documentary about a real spy. And, and that's, I guess that's what kind of led me down that road.